first one. What are you seeing? What do you think? Correct. As most of you are saying, these are bone infarcts, right? What is the closest DD of bone infarct that you will be asked to distinguish from? Enchondroma, right? So it's essentially bone infarct versus enchondroma. So enchondroma, as you know, is a tumor, right? Whereas bone infarcts are within the medullary cavity. So the first thing that you have to see is a mass-like morphology. So yes, endosteal scalloping. If you see that, you know, there is scalloping margins here, then you start thinking of enchondroma. So there's going to be endosteal scalloping that favors enchondroma. What else? How is the calcification going to be? So the calcification again for the chondroid matrix is going to be ring and arc. Whereas here the kind of morphology that you see is described how serpiginous, right? So this is going to be serpiginous with peripheral sort of calcification. Okay, so that is what you find in bone in fact. What would distinguish it? What would be the investigation of choice here would be MR, right? So can you tell me what would be the characteristic appearance of bone in fact on MRI? You see the double rim. Okay, I, I will uh, sort out the DNB and also your books uh, will be sent out, you know, uh, they have been sent out for print. So you will uh, get a notification of the new uh, books and the supplement as well. So uh, both of these things will get updated in the app as well. So there is a double rim sign. What is the inner part here? Is that hypointense or hyperintense? So there are going to be two rims, one of which is going to be the granulation tissue and the other part is what? That is the dead bone, right? So that is going to be the osteosclerosis. So the inner part, which is granulation tissue, is going to be T2 hyperintense, whereas the outer part is because it's bony sclerosis is going to be T2 hypointense, right? So that is what we need to remember. Today we are just discussing the spotters directly. We are not doing it as a Google form quiz, just directly. Uh, discussing to save time okay so this is what you need to remember here the inner hyper intense outer hypo intense so this is bone infarcts you are all